Don't you love Kyrie's and PG's? I know we do, and by the recent numbers we've noticed that a lot of NBA players do as well. Signature shoes in the NBA are a hot topic, although you don't hear enough of it, because it's all in the locker room. Players that are not signed by a shoe brand have access into anything they like to play on, but sometimes this choice brings headaches. I'm Steph from 99 Sneakers and today we are going to find out all about sneaker politics in the NBA. It all popped out recently when Draymond Green from the Golden State Warriors admitted to having put restrictions to teammates as for which sneakers they are going to wear on court against specific rival teams. The story goes like that. Last year, just before a game against Houston Rockets, Green told Warriors equipment manager Eric Housen to replace the shoes sitting in front of Kevin Looney's locker. Looney, a low-key player himself, didn't really argue but had this honest question. Wait a minute, they aren't even hardened shoes, Looney complained, so can I have them back? Well, we don't know if Draymond is a connoisseur when it comes to signature shoes. After all, he's wearing Nikes and Adidas might not be his thing. What we know for sure is that he's quite sensitive on what his teammates are wearing, especially when his team is facing the team of another superstar who has his own signature line. He realized that himself quite early when he was out there defending his team against his greatness, LeBron James, on some LeBron soldier models. Soon enough, he entirely quitted soldiers, not just when facing James, for an additional reason. If you're always in another guy's signature shoe, how will a shoe company ever consider you to possibly get your own, he says. That's the real reason I stopped. I would have continued to wear LeBron's and just not wear them against him, but if I'm in another guy's shoes, they'll never look at me that way. You guessed it right, he sure hopes of getting his own shoe at some point. But that's not the case for the majority of players. They don't have the opportunity for free gear and when a company is giving them a little cash and some gear, they will put them on no matter what. And this might bring along some conflict. You see, star players don't just wear the basketball shoes with their name on, they recruit their guys as well. In Oakland, for example, it might not be KD and Steph Curry that do the work for their respective companies, but the third guy with a shoe contract does, Clay Thompson. You would ask Jacob Evans on that. The same applied for Chris Paul, who was trying to recruit guys like his former teammate at the Clippers, Ryan Hollins. Hollins chose PGs over CP3s and kept the latter for practice. So, let's get back to the title of this video. Why do the majority of players wear Kyrie's and PGs, apart from having two of the most dominant signature lines in the league right now? I think it's obvious. Paul George hasn't been a real contender for a long time, so there are not many people who consider him a threat, at least on the championship level. Furthermore, his character and his horrible injury a few years ago have played their part into making him one of the most likable stars in the modern NBA. The same applies for Kyrie. His persona is not controversial. Okay, if you ignore maybe the flatter theory of his, or should we say the flatter joke. His competitiveness came into play when he was player number two in his team, only behind LeBron, so he was not the guy. Plus, most of the players play in Nike shoes, and his shoes are easily amongst the best performers of the brand. So, if you were an NBA player, would you have a problem playing in another guy's signature shoes or not? And since you probably are not an NBA player, which signature line is the most appealing to you? Let us know in the comments below. Liking and sharing this video or subscribing to our channel would mean the world. Thanks for viewing.